Hello and welcome to Genesis Training. This is your trainer Kostov. In this video, we'll be dealing with time and work, and the topic that we'll be handling is called man days. Let's get started with the concept, and then we'll start with the questions. Now, when it comes to questions based on this subtopic, the main formula that we use is m1 t1 by w1 equals m2 t2 by w2. Here, m1, I mean 1 and 2, refer to case 1 and case 2. m1 t1 by w1 equals m2 t2 by w2. m deals with the number of men or the number of workers or the number of people. t refers to the time taken, w refers to the work done. And this is always equal to this when it comes to the same type of people. Let's get started with the questions and see how to apply this formula in those questions. Six men can do a piece of work in 12 days. How many men are needed to do the work in 18 days? Okay, so we have M1 T1 by W1 equals M2 T2 by W2. M1 is 6, T1 is 12, W1 is 1. A piece of work is just 1. M2 T2 by W2. M2 is uh, x, that is what we need to find out. T2 is 18, W2 is 1. So 6, 3 is 18, 3, 4 is 12. So x equals 4. That is how this, that is how simple this method makes this question. So if at all they exceed the number of days to do the work, then obviously we can use less number of men. That is the whole point. If at all they had decreased the number of days to finish the work, then the number of men would have increased. Let's continue. X number of men can finish a piece of work in 30 days. If there were 6 men more, the work could have been finished in 10 days less. The original number of men is what? Okay. So M1 is X. Uh, finish a piece of work in 30 days. T1 is 30 divided by W1 is 1 equals. If there were 6 men more, just suppose this is x, 6 men more is x plus 6 into 10 days less. Time is 10 days less. Many people forget to read this less part, but it is 10 days less. That means 30 minus 10, that is 20 days. Divide by 1. Let's find the value of x now. 2 and 0 and 0 gone, we have 3x equals 2x plus 12. So we have x equals 12. Answer is C. Alright, let's move on. A building is under construction and the task of paving the blocks is given to a group of men. 40 men can finish the given task in 96 days working 9 hours a day. If 48 men take up the assignment and commit to finish it in 45 days, how many hours will they need to work per day? Okay. So we have M1 is 40 men. T1 is 96 days, but they don't work throughout the duration. They work for only 9 days, 9 hours per day, divided by W1 equals. We have 48 men now, 48 men into... They finish the work in 45 days, but how many hours per day? That is the question. Divide by 1, the same work. Let's cancel things out and we'll get the answer. 96 by 48 is 2. 9 fives are 45. 5 eighths are 40. So, x equals 16. 8 into 2 is 16. That's it. Done. Just remember, when it comes to T1 and T2, just days is not always there. Sometimes they give you the hours per day and all that. So, answer accordingly. Let's move on. 20 workers can finish a piece of work in 30 days. After how many days should 5 workers leave the job so that the work is completed in 35 days? Okay. This one gets a little complicated, but again, the solution is in one line itself. Let's get started. M1 is 20, T1 is 30 days, W1 is 1. This is equal to, 
again w w2 is also 1 because it's the same work now suppose the work is being done in two time segments one is x and one is 35 minus x so in the first x days how many workers are working all the 20 workers are working in the first x days now after these x days five workers leave so the remaining 35 minus x days only 15 workers are working so m2 the first part of m2 is 20 and we have x days plus 15 into 35 minus x days now let's solve it so we have 20 into 30 equals 20x plus 15 to 35 minus x let's cancel a few things First of all, everything is divisible by 5. So, 5, 6 are 30, 5, 4 are 20, 5, 3 are 15. That's all. Let's expand now. We have 120 equals 4x plus 3 into 35. That is equal to 105 minus 3x. 4x minus 3x is x. We have x on this side. That is equal to 120 minus 105 that is equal to 15 and that is the answer answer is c so sometimes the questions are not very straightforward they are the work gets finished in two segments of time so you have to solve it accordingly let's move on Four men and three women finish the job in six days. Five men, seven women, same job in four days. How long one man and one woman take to do the work? Okay, this is a slightly complicated one. Let me tell you how we should start. So we have M1, T1 by W1 equals M2, T2 by W2 equals M3, T3 by W3. Now concentrate. M1 is 4 men plus 3 women. M is the efficiency of one man. W is the efficiency of one woman. T1 is 6 days divided by W1 is 1. It's the same work. Equals M2 is 5 men plus 7 women. T2 is 4 days divided by W2 is 1. This is equal to 1 man and 1 woman. We have man plus woman into how long that is x divided by 1 this is what we need to find the value of x now the first thing we do over here is we equate these two and we get the relationship between one man and one woman's efficiency so we have four men plus three women into six equals five men plus seven women into four 2 2s are 4, 2 3s are 6. Now 4 3s are 12m plus 3 3s are 9w equals 2 5s are 10m plus 2 7s are 14w. So 12m minus 10m is nothing but 2m equals 14w minus 9w is 5w. So one man's efficiency equals 5 by 2 women's efficiency. Now, let's compare these two. We have 5 men plus 7 women into 4 equals man plus woman into x. Now, all we have to do is substitute over here. Substitute this over here. So 1 man is 5 by 2 w. So, we have 5 into 5 by 2 w plus 7 w into 4 equals 5 by 2 w plus w into x so here let the denominator be 2 lcm is 2 5 5 is a 25 w plus 2 7 is a 14 w equals oh this whole thing multiplied with 4 this is equal to 7 by 2 w 5 by 2 plus 1 is 7 by 2 w into x so the first thing that happens is 2 and 2 gets cancelled. We have 25 plus 14 
is nothing but 39. 39 into 4 into W equals 7 W X. So W and W gone. X equals 39 into 4 that is 156 divided by 7. Answer is 156 divided by 7. Answer is 8. So that is the answer. The question is a little time consuming. Yes, but it's not that difficult if you know how to solve it. You get three terms equation and then you use the first two terms and equate them and then find the value, find the relationship between one man and one's woman's efficiency and then apply the same thing with these two and then get the value of x. Everything else gets cancelled. Now let's use this same concept and solve the next question. Five men and three boys can cultivate a 23 acre field in four days. Here work has also been quantified. So M1 is 5M plus three boys. T1 is four days divided by W1 is 23 acres. This is equal to four days, uh, three men and four boys. So M2 is uh, three men and four bo two boys. into time is two days divided by seven acre that is the work equals how many boys will be needed together with seven men so we have seven men plus x number of boys if they have to cultivate a 45 acre field 45 is w3 in six days this is the thing now again we have to use the same thing but let us Simplify this here itself a little bit. 4, 2 and 6. All of them are divisible by 2. So, 2, 2s are 4. 2, 1s are 2. 2, 3s are 6. And then these two also. 3, 15s are 45. So, these are the final equations. Now, we know that the first thing we have to do is we need to equate these two. We have 5m plus 3b into 2 by 23 equals... 3m plus 2b divided by 7. Now let's cross multiply. 5 2s are 10, 10 7s are 70m plus 3 2s are 6, 6 7s are 42b equals 23 into 3 is 69m plus 23 into 2 is 46b. 70 minus 69 is 1m equals 46 minus 42 is 4b. This is the thing. One man's efficiency equals four boys' efficiency. Now, we equate these two. We have 3m plus 2b by 7 equals 7m plus xb divided by 15. Now, let's substitute this over here. m is 4b, so we have 3 into 4b plus 2b divided by 7 equals 7 into 4b plus xb divided by 15. 3 4s are 12. 12 plus uh, 2 is 14. So we have 12b by 7 equals 28 plus xb. 7 4s are 28 plus xb divided by 15. So 7 2s are 14 b and b gone 15 goes this side we have 30 equals 28 plus x so x equals 2 the answer is 2 so this is how these type of questions are done always remember m1 t1 by w1 equals m2 t2 by w2 there was no other concept that was used to solve these particular questions that is all for this video. Thank you so much.